hello friends welcome you to watch the video multiplication simple tricks in my last video we learn how to multiply two numbers but some of my subscribers raised the question what to do when the number contains zero and whether this method is applicable for multiplying x plus a and x plus b in this video they will get the answer first we will revise our method discussed in previous video Consider the multiplication of 234 and 23. For that, for first number we draw horizontal lines, and for second numbers we draw vertical lines. For 234 we draw two lines. By leaving some space, we draw three lines for second digit, and four lines for third digit. Then for 23 we draw two vertical lines. By leaving some space, we draw Three vertical lines for second digit. Now we shall count the points of intersection: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and write twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and write nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and write six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and write eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and write six. One, two, three, four, and write four. Then start from right bottom corner, number twelve. Write two in the answer, and one as a carrier. Add it to nine. Nine plus one equal to ten. Add this number with eight. Ten plus eight equal to eighteen. Out of that, write eight in the answer. And one as carrier. Six plus one equal to seven. Add eight with six. Seven plus six equal to thirteen. Write three in the answer. One as carrier. And four plus one gives five. Write it in the answer. Multiplication of two hundred thirty-four and twenty-three is five thousand three hundred eighty-two. Now we will see multiplication of the numbers containing zero. Consider example two hundred three multiplied by thirty-two. For two hundred three, we draw two horizontal lines. For zero, we draw a line with different color, and for three again we draw three horizontal lines. For thirty-two, we draw three vertical lines, and by leaving some space, draw two vertical lines and count the points of intersection: one, two, three, four, five, six, and write six. While writing the intersection with the line of red color or a line of different color. We put intersection as zero. We shall not count the point of intersection, and we directly write zero. Then one, two, three, four. Write four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and write nine. Again, for the line with red color, we write zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, and write six. Now, as previous, start from right bottom corner. Six. Write it in the answer. Then add zero and nine. That is nine. Then add four plus zero. That is four. And finally write six. Thus, two hundred three multiplied by thirty two equal to six thousand four hundred ninety six. Now we shall see how to multiply x plus a and x plus b. For that, consider. 3x plus 4 multiplied by 2x plus 3. Draw three horizontal lines for 3x and four horizontal lines for 4. Note that for variable we draw red lines and for constant number we draw black lines. For 2x plus 3 we draw two vertical lines and three vertical lines for constant 3 and count the point of intersection. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Write twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Write nine x as one line is of variable and vertical line is of constant. Therefore, the number is nine x. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, equal to eight x. And one, two, three, four, five, six. This gives six x square as both lines are 
lines of variable. Now we shall write 12 in the answer. Then we add 9x and 8x that is 17x and finally we write 6x square. Thus 3x plus 4 multiplied by 2x plus 3 is equal to 6x square plus 17x plus 12. Now let us see the example of 2x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. Here for 2x we draw 2 horizontal lines with red color and 3 horizontal lines with black color. For x minus 2 we draw 1 vertical line for x and 2 vertical lines for 2. As 2 has a minus sign we write minus below of each lines. Then we shall count the points of intersection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and write minus 6. As vertical line is minus and horizontal line is plus and product of minus and plus is minus therefore this is minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4 write minus 4x because vertical line is minus and horizontal line represent x therefore minus 4x. 1, 2, 3 this is 3x. 1, 2 this is 2x square because both lines are of variable. Now we write minus 6 in the answer then we add minus 4x and 3x that is minus x write it before minus 6 and finally we write 2x square thus 2x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 equal to 2x square minus x minus 6 for watching more videos uploaded by this channel subscribe the channel if you like my video don't forget to press the like button thank you very much and see you again